What is one secret you never told your ex? That I hooked up with someone else. I cheated. <laughs> um, I cheated. I cheated. <laughs> Jesus. This is crazy. Welp, here we go again. From a lack of loyalty to the baggage that can bring down an airline, women have become quite the problem in these western states. They'll cheat, steal, and find a way to work the system, all while having a laugh along the way. Sorry if that feels like a drag, but it's better we realize it and avoid it like the plague, than lie to ourselves and say, hey, things have a way of repairing themselves. Judging by the reaction this guy had, he's feeling the same type of way. Here's the post's top comments. Slowing comes to terms with the fact that I'll die alone without a family. At least I'll always have the gym, animals, and motorcycle slash cars. Real. Dressing the part too. And they're proud of it. How is betrayal a flex? It's not, man. It's really, really not. The only flex I really see is from the guy at the beginning of the video. Keep doing you, king. As for the comments, what's with all the doom and gloom guys? This has been happening for a century at least. Just cringe, laugh, and go big tail before you find yourself another ATM in a broken market. Here's another. If you're a mid-single woman, you should move to San Francisco because dating here is on easy mode. You know, in New York and LA, you see so many beautiful women with shelby guys. Here it's the opposite. There are six foot four soft engineers who are all climbing on the side. By the way, that's all soft engineers who will like you even though you're chronically online and the worst. And it's just like they have Stockholm Syndrome because it's supply and demand, there's so many more of them than there are of you, so they don't know that they're getting a really the bad end of the deal. So I highly recommend it. Go techies. That push abra is fighting for dear life. Good God. Anyway, hate to break it to you, lady, but the keyboard warriors are not looking your way if they're breaking six figures, especially if they're watching a channel like ours. Moreover, California is not the land of commitment. Far from it. Walk out the door, throw a rock, and you'll be lucky if it doesn't hit a couple of Chads and Tyrones before it hits the ground. Ma'am, the Passport Bro movement only works one way. What you're headed for is a devastating body count. Them's the facts. Here are some comments. In San Francisco, the odds are good, but the goods are odd. I respectfully and strongly disagree. Dating in San Francisco is a hellscape. As a woman in software, the typical issues of dating are amplified here. Finding a man in Southwest with emotional intelligence who is humble is difficult. Dating here is easy, but personality is lacking. Every day I've had in San Francisco has been the worst day of my life, lol. According to the other chicks in the comments, I'm right on the money. Ladies, you can change locations anytime you want, but that doesn't change who you are. At the end of the day, the results will be the same. Next clip. You know what, today a female friend of mine asked me a very interesting question I decided to share with y'all out there. And what she asked me was, why dudes don't go on dates no more? But in a nutshell, this is what I told her. Because for one, a lot of females these days don't appreciate the dates these dudes take them on. And on top of that too, the female requirement for dates is ridiculous. Because to them, it's not considered a date unless you spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their ass. It's crazy as hell because why should I spend all that money on you? I don't even know you. Now I can see if we're in a relationship or we married, but not if I just mess your ass. And not only that, let's not forget about the foodie call issue. Because let's keep it 100. A lot of females only go on dates for the free food. But got the nerve to take home a damn doggy bag. Doing all that just to later on say, I'm not really feeling you like that. And on top of that too, a lot of y'all ladies out there like to make the date feel like a damn interrogation. Asking us all these damn crazy ass questions and shit. Because stuff like that literally takes all the fun out the day. And the final and most important reason why a lot of dudes don't go on dates no more, because it's the dude that y'all messing with on the side that's smashing y'all and don't even have to take y'all on the date at all. While the requirements of an average dude is to take y'all out, spend all this damn money to wine and dine y'all, and hopes to get a damn thank you for the damn date. Why put in all this work when it's not beneficial to us? Hey, I'm just keeping it real. Hey, you ain't gotta listen to me, but one thing you can't say, you can't say I didn't try to tell you. Brother, I could not have said it better myself. Additionally, this is the perfect response to the woman in the last clip. Ladies, the reason high value guys aren't lining up to date is because the cost is too damn high. That, and the environment you've cultivated isn't hospitable to long term investments. It's more like pumping and dumping an altcoin. These chicks are finding a chad, giving it away, doing the same thing next week, and then hoping to land with a guy who isn't able to cut the smoke screen. The only problem with this logic is just that logic. Men of the West understand the game, and most are done putting chips on the table. The comments are, I think it's best if we just stay single. 
I would like a date night that would be geared towards my likes. I'm a nature girl, not much money is needed. No cap, why put in all the effort to truly love a girl right when she's gonna bang five dudes in a week anyways? Women don't appreciate anything seriously, they only like expensive dates seriously. Hashtag passport bro. To the woman who posted the second comment, please stop playing. Everyone knows you'll want brunch after the hike is over. The value keeps dropping and men are smart enough to realize that, although inflation's an issue. Your presence is not going to solve the problem. Here's another. Social media has ruined relationships not just because of cheating, but because the average male cannot compete with the amount of attention that women are receiving online. There's posts like this. And these posts have over a million likes and thousands of thousands of comments where women are getting their self-worth and their value from random strangers on the internet. And you think that the average male is going to be able to compete with any of that. They're not. You will never be able to compete with the amount of attention that she's getting from social media. And that's why a lot of women refuse to give up their social media or stop posting thirst traps the minute that they're in a relationship. Why? Because they know that you as a man cannot fill that void. But also it's made the average woman look like a seven or an eight when there are two or three or four. I have never seen a single person that I've seen online walking around in real life. Why? Because they don't look like that. So that's the other thing. Their ego goes way up here when really they, they need to be humbled. Okay, bye. I'm not sure if they'll ever achieve humility, but the core of the sentiment remains true. As I just said, women in the West have an inflated sense of value. It's comparable to the vintage truck you see on Craigslist. Once you show up to talk price, you lift up the blanket on the front bench seat to discover stands and exposed springs. Reality has become incredibly distorted and women continue to take full advantage of that. The flaw in this line of thinking is that a second meetup will be on the horizon. The top comments are, we are past giving up or trying, we have moved on, to the point of ignoring. Peace is better than dealing with all that BS. And then lack of effort, no idea what they want, high expectations. Social media has ruined more than just relationships. It's not worth it anymore. Gentlemen, gentlemen, leave me with something to work with, you're stealing all my lines. The first comment here says it all, took the words right out of my mouth. The lady recording this video might be right about the diagnosis, but she's missing the part where men couldn't care less at this point. To the second commenter's statement, we've found peace. No reason to go back to that unnecessary hell now. Another one. The truth is that the good guys are done with dating. I think she's pandering a little, but there is a lot of this going on right now. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a good guy. I'm not saying that all good guys are single or that all single guys are good. I'm just saying that a lot of us are kind of here right now. When I was a teenager, I thought dating worked like this. I did not know that this step was going to be here. I guess we could call this a negotiation ship. It's when someone is not willing to give 100%. And it always happens when somebody drops the ball. For me, I've experienced a lot of ghosting, a lot of trading up, and it doesn't matter which guy I am. Even if I'm this guy, how do I know you're not going to just do this? A couple women showed up wearing wedding rings. That does not inspire confidence. The most common thing for me is that we get to this stage and she says she wants to be polyamorous, which means she already is. I even had a crush on someone in fifth grade, and she didn't like me until after college, and we hung out for a month before she told me that she had a boyfriend. I've had some people tell me that I might just be attracting this kind of woman, and maybe that's true, or maybe they just shouldn't be doing these things, but for now, I'm just kind of out of ideas. Well, I'm glad you woke up, man. The trial by fire always hurts, but the end result is enlightenment. And that's always a net positive. And yes, she's pandering. Since the beginning of time, everything, including anything sexual, has fallen under the bartering system. The only thing that really changed is that we gave the exchange a different name. Romance. Marketing has turned this into some kind of magical phenomenon, but when you pop the hood, the same parts are all there. The only difference is that Western women forgot to haggle and decided they just wanted the whole pie. That's why we find ourselves in this situation. 
The comments are, she says she wants to be polyamorous, which means she already is, bruh. The polyamorous bit is so true. Every girl I talk to is talking to at least three other guys. Like, why am I even here? Now explain the fall of the Roman Empire. This is the most accurate depiction of the modern dating scene I have ever seen. Maybe they shouldn't be doing these things. LOL. Amen. In response to the first two comments, that's exactly what I meant by wanting the whole pie. Polyamory is just the desire to avoid impulse control while your simp wears the apron. As for the fall of the Roman Empire, I actually explained this in a different video. Sexual liberation is one of the main events leading to the civilization's collapse. Here's the next one. Ask the ladies to rate their looks on a scale of 1 to 10. Sydney, you go first. 10. Um... Are we talking about, like, overall? Looks. Looks? Mm-hmm. Guess in... An eight, a nine, I guess. I don't know. I don't really look at myself and think, damn, I look like... I guess I do if I have a good day. But like, damn, I look like a ten. But that's just mentally speaking. I don't know. Like, I feel great. Okay, but so looks, like, what do you rate yourself? Eight or nine? Uh, sure. Which yeah. one? Pick one. Eight and a half. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. I think without makeup, I would say, like, seven. And with makeup, I would say eight and a half to nine. Okay. I'd say like a solid seven or eight. Okay. Tara, what about you? I'd say eight. Okay. So only one ten at the table. Okay, would, would anyone like to revise their answers? I have uh, some makeup remover. Damn, bro. Damn. Honesty is the best policy, and the modern woman isn't earning any awards in that area anytime soon. And honestly, makeup might be at the forefront of this value problem. Western women cake on the chemicals in the hopes that guys don't know the secrets they found on YouTube, but we most definitely know what's going on under there. The comments are, not so fast, Sydney. 4, 6, 6, 8. The worst one said 10 and the best one said 7. 4, 8.5, 7, 9, 8. I would say 5 for Sydney. It looks like we have some judges over here. I'd be curious to see what man guide fans think. Anyway, the situation here is pretty cut and dry, but it needed to be shared. Some were asking why he does this exercise. Granted, it might seem a little goofy, but the point is to show that women don't give themselves a number until the filters and lights come on. Hence, the present disparity. Next clip. Here's some crazy research for you. So, a third of men, 33%, a little over a third, of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single, but they're not actively looking for a partner. The same study said that by the year 2030, that 45% of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single. So I've got a question for the men, because I see it all the time in my comments. Most of my comments are filled with guys saying, we're done. We don't, we're not looking, we like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. Tell me why you don't want to have a partner in life. Tell me why it's more worth it to be single than to have a partner. Even if you weren't to remarry, just to have a partner. I mean, I've talked to a lot of men. I've got my answers, but I want to hear it in the comments. So please, drop it in the comments. And they still don't seem to get it. Lady, this is clout chasing, but I'll humor it for the sake of this video. Men are moving on because the women simply don't exist anymore. Sure, they call themselves women, but they don't resemble anything that makes such a thing beneficial. At their core, they all want to be guys. After achieving that wish in a minor way, they've become spiteful, chastising the men who warned them, even though we told you to stick to the oven work. It's as simple as that. The comments here are, We're busy thinking about the Roman Empire. Was married 24 years, wife decides to leave and take half my retirement and almost half my future income. Done. The risk outweighs the reward. Juice not worth the squeeze. We love unconditionally. Most women love conditionally. 1. Saving money. 2. No risk being devastated again. 3. No expectations. 4. Focus on myself. 5. One night stands are easy. 6. Disappointing dating phase. Pretty great points all around. Aside from my general response, most of the comments here did a great job filling the gaps. The price is too damn high. Next one. Here's a lovely little PSA that nobody asked for. Oh boy, buckle up kids. This one's about to get real. You wonder why the divorce rate's so high? You wonder why there's so many women in their 20s, 30s, 40s that are not in relationships or not getting married just because they plain don't want to? 
or why there's so many single moms in the world right now. It's very easy, very simple. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Oh, I see. Funny thing is, neither are men. And that's why we're walking away. Walking away in droves. So, what's any different between men and women in this? Let me say that again. Women are not accepting the bare minimum anymore. If we heard you. And guess what? Neither are men. If you want to be a partner, please be a partner. If you want to be in a relationship, please give benefit. Okay, we actually agree on this point. You should be getting benefit from your partner. So why don't you tell us a few of the benefits that you're going to provide? To someone, I can pay my own bills, I can make my own food, I can raise my own kids. Okay, guess what? We can do all those things too. I understand that you're tired at the end of the work day, but so am I. But guess what? Someone has to do the laundry, someone has to make dinner, someone has to watch the kids. And someone has to mow the lawn, someone has to fix the car, someone has to... I could list a whole bunch of things that men do that really women don't count as doing chores because it's not something they value. And the funny thing is, even when we do all those things, you discount it because, well, it's not done the way you would do it. If you're not going to do that with someone, then just don't do it. Okay, we hear you. That's why we're walking away. Because we can do it all ourselves. And so can we. And we have a lot less socks to turn right side in in the laundry. Well, you know, you got me there. I stand corrected. You see, I thought the things that women valued were love, respect, taking care of one another. Nope, I was wrong. You've, you've enlightened me. It really comes down to one thing. The only thing that matters to women is whether the socks are turned in the right way. And people wonder why gentlemen are just plain done. You gotta love it when one clip answers another. One of the largest issues Western women have is they live in the illusion that they're still the same ones you'd find a hundred years ago. They claim to carry a massive amount of responsibility, but then cry on TikTok after a guy is sick and tired of having to clean dishes after a 60-hour work week. Literature and movies like The Handmaid Tale paint an image of modern women slaving away over the stove when most of them can't get out of bed on time. The comments are, stay single men, have hobbies, travel, fill your life with the world. She has no clue. That's why we go overseas for a good wife. Part of the problem is it's never enough and they don't appreciate what, what they already do. My parents just broke up after being together for 50 years. My dad is relaxed and chilling while my mom, mm, just being miserable by her own mistakes. Nothing to agree with here. I could have done it with the mmm after the word mom, but I'm glad it had a happy ending for your dad. And here's the last one. I'm gonna give it to y'all real. Ladies, your man ain't leaving you because you overweight. He ain't leaving you because you got stretch marks or you got wrinkles. Your man ain't leaving you because you don't do your hair a certain way. He's not leaving you because your makeup, you're not as natural as you want. Listen, a lot of y'all think that men are leaving y'all for superficial things. Most men are leaving because they don't feel seen or appreciated. You understand what I'm saying? You will be amazed at how many men, all it takes is so little and he'll stay and he will continue. But our women are so hardened because of, of life that they won't even give that man the simple things because they would rather prove that they can stand alone than to be vulnerable and stand with their men. Ladies, I don't want your heart to be too hard when you got to prove to him in the world that you don't need him. And this is why MGTOW works and the flight of the 304s does not. Men are primed to handle their own business. At our core, needs are simple and the rest is gravy. We are raised with little to work with and the weight of the world on our shoulders. Not to mention, most of us get a draft letter at the age of 18. In the beginning, this felt like a reasonable exchange, until our absence all but guaranteed that the house would fall apart. Here are the top comments. Can't tell a woman that. She'll say it's your fault and you don't feel appreciated. She'll swear she's doing everything for him, except listening to him. He definitely speaking the truth and women don't get it. You don't value the wisdom he brings, you'll lose him for not listening. The response to listening is not I hear you, it's change. Bruh, this is one of the most profound statements I've heard on TT. Certainly why I left. We're glad you found a way out, buddy. It's the best you could do. After all, we're all on our way out, and they still don't seem to get it. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, 
hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.